Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. This is the second part of the topic Ad-Dhamir Al-Munfasil. In the previous video, I have explained about Ad-Dhamir Al-Munfasil, the words and also their meaning. Now, we look at the second part, which is why do we call it Dhamir Munfasil? Why it is called separated pronoun or separated Dhamir? The reason is because when we use this Dhamir, for example, the word Huwa, he, when you use it, you have to separate this from the next word or from the previous word. In other words, this word has to be written individually. You cannot connect them to the other words. Yeah, uh, As you know, in Arabic, sometimes a word can be connected Yeah, to the previous or the to next word. But for the Damir, Munfasil, uh, they, cannot be, they cannot be connected. That is why it is called Munfasil. Let us look at the, some examples of the Damir Munfasil. Okay, here they say the instruction says lahid wa mayiz lahid observe and mayiz and differentiate. Okay, we look at the first example. The sentence is huwa Muslim. Huwa Muslim. Huwa means he and Muslim is someone who embraces Islam. We call him Muslim. Now we look at the word Muslim here. This is a mufrad word. This is a singular word. And at the same time, this is also for mudhakkar. So, uh, since this is mudhakkar and also for singular, you must make sure that the damir that you use is also in the singular form and also in the mudhakkar form. That is why we say huwa he, yeah, huwa Muslim. That is the first one. Al misalu thani, the second example. Huma muslimani, huma muslimani, huma musliman. Basically, the sentence is similar to the first one, which means uh, they are Muslim. But the difference here is, of course, the number. So, Huma, as we have learned, Huma is referring to two, yeah, for two of them. So, or both of them. So, both of them are Muslim. If you look at the word Muslim, Musliman, sorry, the word Musliman here, this is in the Muthanna forms. This is in the Muthanna form due to the uh, Alif and Nun. That we have at the end of the word, Muslimani. Huma Muslimans, Huma Musliman to Muslims. And the word Musliman, this is also a Muzakkar word. Therefore, the word that we should use is Huma. Huma Musliman. Next, we go to the third sentence. The third sentence is also similar to the first and the second sentence. Hum Muslimuna. Hum Muslimuna. Hum, it means they. And from the lesson, we know that they here is used to refer to three and above. They, and who are these people? They are Muslimun. And Muslimun, this is the plural form for the word Muslim. Muslim, one Muslim. Musliman, two Muslims. And uh, Muslimun, this is the Muslim, the plural forms for three and above. We say Muslimun. Musliman just now, this is for two. Okay, and since the word Muslimun, this is also for Muzakkar, therefore the correct domain that you should use is Hum, Hum Muslimun. Okay, now we look at uh, the other example. Uh, we look at the, the Mu'annas example for the for female. So this time they use the third person, uh, sorry, the second person. The jumla or the sentence says, anti Muslimatun. Anti Muslima. Anti means you. And of course, anti is for one single person. You say you, anti. And Muslima, this is the female version of the word Muslim. Muslim is referring to male Muslim. And Muslima, because of this ta at the end, this ta marbuta, the round ta, that is the meaning is now female Muslim. So this is also a Muslim, but of course for female Muslim, a Muslima. Anti-Muslima and Muslima is also this for singular. Therefore, the word uh, is used is anti for singular. And at the same time, since the word Muslima is a female word, that is why we say anti and not anta. Anti-Muslima. al misal Uthani, the second sentence. The second sentence is similar to the first sentence. The difference is that here it is used for Muthanna for two. Antuma Muslimatani. 
antuma muslimatani antuma both of you so this is you but for two people and muslimatani this is similar to the word muslima the difference is that this is in the musanna form in the dual form so muslimatani means two muslims how many two two muslim and of course this is also for female yeah because the original word is muslimatun with this tamar buta and here you see this star again so muslimatani two female muslims and uh, the correct domir that you should use if you want to say you for two female for two uh, women then you say antuma 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 muslimatan and the next sentence is antuna muslimatun antuna muslimatun antuna means you but from the lesson the word antuna here is used for three and above and this is only used for female and the word muslimat muslimat this is the plural form for the word muslim muslima muslima one female muslim muslimatani two female muslim and muslimat female muslims and this is for jama three and above so we say antunna muslimat okay so in the previous examples uh, we have seen the usages of this doma in munfasila uh, with human and uh, some of these doma in munfasila they can also be used for uh, to refer to objects to inanimate objects let us look at uh, this example here the example says hadha kitabun huwa mufidun hadha kitab huwa mufidun the f here we have two sentences the first sentence is hadha kitab this is a book hadha kitab this is a book and then the next sentence it says huwa mufid huwa mufid in our previous in our lesson previously we said that the word huwa means he but sometimes the word huwa can also be used to refer to object and here the word huwa is translated as it yeah and what is this huwa or this it it is referring to the word kitab which is book so if you look at the word kitab the gender of the word kitab is muzakkar since there is no tamar buta at the end and at the same time it is also for mufrad for singular therefore the suitable word that we should use is huwa to say it right so we say huwa huwa mufidun and mufid means useful huwa mufid it is useful and now let us look at another example in this example it says he hadhihi majallatun hiya nafi'atun hadhihi majalla hiya nafi'a hadhihi means this and majalla is a magazine hadhihi majalla this is a magazine hiya nafi'a hiya from our lesson hiya means she but here the word hiya is used to refer to inanimate object which is the word majalla and if you look at the word majalla majalla this is uh, with tamar buta yeah you see the tamar buta at the end of the word which indicates that this is a muannas word and at the same time the word majalla is also a singular word a mufrad word so since this is a uh, singular mufrad and also muannas the damir that we should use to refer to majalla is hiya so how do we translate the word hiya here it is yeah so we say hiya hiya nafia it is nafia which you, which also means useful okay so the meaning is hadhihi majalla this is a magazine hiya nafia it is useful so from this uh, the, from these two uh, examples that you have seen the word huwa and the word hiya they are used for object for inanimate object and if it is used to refer to a muzakkar word, then you say huwa. And if it is used to refer to muannas word, then it is hiya.